Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to continue my talk about green computing. In the earlier video I had mentioned that by changing some of the devices that I use I'm able to save around 80% of the power and I'm going to talk about these devices. Uh, the first thing is that uh, I had noticed that I was using my PS3, that's the old version, a lot not for gaming but for streaming media and the ps3 works great as a media streamer but the problem with the ps3 is that it consumes a lot of power even in the normal mode when it's not playing games for even for streaming media it consumes approximately between 150 to 160 watts so that's a lot of power that it consumes so what i had done is that now i have replaced uh, the ps3 by a media player specifically a wd tv media player you get a lot of media players in the market and this WDTV does the job of streaming media pretty well and uh, from my rough calculation the WDTV consumes just 8 watts of power so just compare it PS3 approximately 150 watts of power and this WDTV media streamer just about 8 uh, watts of power so approximately a power saving of 90 percent the next thing I've noticed that uh, in this digital world we have a lot of media residing with us we have our movies pictures etc uh, and a lot of people want to watch that again on the big tv or in the living room hence they use a media streamer like wdtv or a console which helps you in media serving but the problem is that uh, all this media acts uh, whatever they have generally resides on their personal computer and they keep it switched on all the time to stream the media from the computer to their living room where the TV resides. Uh, typically uh, average PC is going to consume about 150 watts of power. What you can do is move all the media that's your movies, uh, music and uh, pictures to a NAS drive. A NAS consumes a lot less power than your PC. You can also go with a modern uh, router that has a USB port at the back. Most of these uh, routers uh, can support an external hard drive and can stream media directly from the same. Personally, I use an iOmega NAS uh, in which I have all my media stored and I use that to stream my media content. I also reviewed this Asus router which can do the same. I also got this new uh, Netgear router which I'm going to review pretty soon can do the media serving feature. So by moving your media from your PC to some of these uh, media serving devices, you can save a lot of power. The third thing is that I know a lot of users uh, just leave their personal computer through on throughout the night because they are downloading some huge file or downloading some torrents. I feel that this is a huge wastage of power. I know a lot of devices, for example, NAS devices that support a download client. So you can download files and torrents directly to this device instead to your PC. I know a few routers also which have this functionality. Uh, I specifically reviewed this Asus router that has this functionality. And I feel that if you have do if you frequently download a lot of files and do torrenting, I suggest that you can save a lot of power by moving to some of these devices. So these are some of the ways in which I try to be green and save power. I'm sure you guys also know some other ways by which you can save power. I love to know them and please share them in the comment section below so that I can share them with everyone. That's it for now. This is Ranjit for tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.